So here we have today the um, Aquaponic Farm in a Box. It's their our, uh, prototype Phoenix model. And I'm David. I am the founder of Earth Solutions. And here we are looking at basically um, a uh, system of three beds and a uh, 200 gallon fish tank that are um, a part of this system. Essentially, we have two deep water culture beds that are eight feet by three feet. As you can see here and one ebb and flow bed that's a uh, recirculating water system right over there what's special about this system is a number of things one is that we're uh, unlike most aquaponic backyard gardening systems um, which rely on the the ebb and flow soil is medium, uh, the, the gravel uh, substrate and, and hydrogen and such, we're using, we're focusing on deep water culture. This is our floating rack. It's an alternative to the more commonly used polystyrene. It's essentially made out of uh, one by three spruce wood that's FSC certified. It's non-treated and essentially it contains um, a series of holes cut out of it. There's about 50 holes on each rack. And in that there, there are little containers with permatil, medium, and then the, uh, the clippings or the seedlings are placed in those, in those plot pots. And then the, uh, the plants are, are set above the water. Where, they, uh, where the roots dangle in the water and pick up the nutrients from the fish tank. The system's doing rather nicely. It's kind of wet because we had a, a big rainstorm in the last couple of days, but you can see the uh, plants growing rather nicely. We've got okra, basil clippings that are in, a, in an earlier phase right here, some older basil clippings. This is, these are all clippings right here. This is a, a, an, a, a Thai basil. It's beautiful scented basil. And uh, in fact, you can see a big chunk out of it where I uh, made dinner last night with a little pesto from the, the uh, aromatic basil. It's really delicious. Here we have a, uh, another component of this deep water culture that I, uh, I thought would be a nice contribution. That's our, our biofilm, essentially made out of uh, living plants. These are underwater plants that are producing a, an abundance of oxygen. Um, specifically, there are anacris, and they, uh, they're, they're a host to a, a quite a, an array of ecosystems, um, particularly they produce oxygen. Now, oxygen attracts bacteria. Bacteria tr attracts um, feeding protozoans and protozoans actually uh, are, th are themselves food for fish fry. Um, we happen to have a number of fish fry under these racks. Uh, believe it or not they are they are they are um, extracted from the from the 200 gallon tank through this rubber hose uh, via the, the pump that sucks them out of that uh, that has sucked them out of the bed evidently after the mothers uh, let the uh, little fry out of their mouths. And so they made it all into this, these shallow beds where they're, um, where they are scavenging for food, and and these biofilms make an ideal um, uh, basis for them to eat and to survive. This is another uh, of the beds. We've got some zucchini. Um, we have. As you can see, a variety of plants, some basil, more basil, mostly basil clippings at, uh, right now. This is the tank. We've got about 30 nice sized tilapia in there. Doing well. And right here is the um, is our ebb and flow bed. This is a, a uh, it was a rather successful ebb and flow system. We've got eggplants, strawberries, basil, tomatoes, bell peppers. Some collard greens that are getting eaten up by the cabbage worms, um, and so on. Again, the water here is uh, 
is on an ebb and flow. It's time to release every um, every hour on a 15 minute cycle. The water comes right out of the tank on a separate pump. You see we've got little seedlings in there. I believe that's uh, cauliflower. Ooh. So we got a little, a little worm here, a little fish food. Some new, unique features about this are the uh, permatil soil, uh, the soilless uh, medium. This is a, a really fantastic, lightweight, easy to to, uh, to handle stone. It's a slate that's been uh, baked and made porous so that it, it hosts uh, colonies of bacteria that facilitate the conversion of nitrogen, of ammonia from the fish tank to nitrite and to nitrate uh, by two different types of bacteria. This right here is our ebb and flow trickle valve. Uh, that's a system I'll explain in a in a uh, another video. Essentially, it's our proprietary patent pending, if you will, um, ebb and flow system. And essentially, it uh, uh, it's a it's a valve that you can control from the top. You turn this, and it controls the rate of release for, of water from the bottom. That's it. I'm David with Earth Solutions, and we're talking about the farm in a box.